From Turning Stone Resort in upstate New York, this is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. We're at Turning Stone Resort in upstate New York. I'm Chris Hansen, and that's Joe Stapleton. Hello, my babies. Things have calmed down a bit testosterone-wise, but Sean Deeb keeps things moving with a healthy disregard for money. I'll get 20,000 in pretty wide with you. And Joe McKeon shows everyone what a future world champ looks like other than a hobo. You can't go to the final table like that. Pretty sure I can. I do, I do need new sneakers. Uh, new sneakers, yes, yeah. yes. Seriously, you yeah. got to see these I'm sneakers. Matter of fact, I'm going to let you borrow these. Look at this. Look at your belt. No, we do not. Showing off for kicks. Nice kicks. I'm getting molested here. What is going on? <laughs> Look at this. Look at these things. Look at them. Look at that bottom. <laughs> <laughs> We're kicking off day two here at Turning Stone Resort. One of the new players who's sitting down is Dominic Cristiano. He is a online qualifier. Welcome to the fun, Dominic. That explains why he's only in for 5,000. What's Matt Glance's excuse? I actually think Travel should be your stylist for the big event final table. should be. Looks like the straddle's on for the qualifier. Is Travel Thomas shirtless? Joe Meister, Joe Meister, sweatpants. Celebrating that American right to bear arms, I guess. Joe told me he's not making shirts for his rail. Really? You're, not getting a you're making sure for your rail, right? How much is Joe not going to do that? This guy, I man. You some I think, I think they're making your... different color shirts for the levels and <laughs> Matt Glance <laughs> will Jeff pop the first Jeff. raise up to 300 with ace, 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 king, and clubs. How could he not make sure for his rail? Why is part of the fun of it? I just, people can wear what they want. Of course, McKean is not going to have t-shirts. He's getting bathing suits for his bikinis. McKean's bikinis. I got a lot of offers from a lot of people about shirts. I'd rather people, like... Where would That's they the want? face in the shove, I know. I know you're shoving, Matt. I don't want to let you off too easy by shoving. <laughs> I'm in Vegas, we're going to find you a nice BMW while you're down. You're going to make it 21? Something, no, a little, a little bit more. So it's like it's like shoving, up. but then it'll let you, allow you to shove. <laughs> There's a lot of money at it. point two? Bigger than second place right now. <laughs> yeah, insane. Who can, nobody can afford to buy a piece of that. How many big blinds? Do I have? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like 160 or something? <laughs> relative, like, I thought it was a bluff. <laughs> he had, Matt has aces. I know he has aces. And I'm still gambling with him. Uh, I don't have aces. Do you have kings? No, I have no pair. And these two are uh -huh. going to insist on That's slow rolling each other, so they won't yeah. know what each other has until the boards run out. Oh, we're showing an ace <laughs> and a king. Really you want to slow roll or you want to flip? I'm going to take bets on that. He wants hand. a slow roll. That's what I'm playing. The jack. He plays jacks. <laughs> Sean's just going to show us one live oh. card. Actually, I think Sean's telling the truth this time. Come on, two diamonds. Put two diamonds you out might, there. You might need an ace or a king. Yeah, I would, no, say that. I would spend jacks. four months trying to sell my stack. That is right. not a great flop for oh, two diamonds, but it's a decent turn. Diamond. Or a deuce. Diamond. Or a deuce. Or or no ace king. or king. 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 Diamond. There we go. Oh, ah. come on. How? <laughs> How much? <laughs> oh, God. Don't take the money. Don't take the money until he shows me. You guys bought king of diamonds? Yeah. Lance doesn't even know he's lost yet. You think I would get it in with king jack I would bet he has jacks, for sure. <laughs> but if he has a diamond, it kind of sucks. <laughs> he was asking how much it is. Should I push it over to you? As in, he, he's wondering how much he has to pay him. He, wants to pay he just paid. Thing. What is happening? Uh, he's slow wrong, guys. Someone's got to pay. Push it over to him. Wait a second. Oh! <laughs> so close to being the most amazing slow roll ever, if only he had turned the card over right. Uh, 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 uh. Matt was so convinced I had Jags, too. That I was the king of diamonds. The ace of diamonds is so brilliant. <laughs> That's not the first time, and it probably won't be the last, that you see Matt Glantz getting felted on Poker Night in America. I'm always a target when I'm playing poker because I dish it out, so I have to be able to take it. Normally in a poker game, there's ethics about not talking during a hand. We just threw that out the window. This is Poker Night in America. We do whatever we want. We just try to beat each other while we're at the table, and we're all friends off the table, so when we're at the table, we're trying to beat each other's heads in. That's what it is. Clance is a pillow. He's like the easiest target. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Jamel Thomas just put a shirt on? Well, there goes the female audience. And I did just buy two tickets to the gun show as well. <laughs> God dang it. Non-refundable. Dentali, you ready to join us yet? Yes. You're on the list? Yes. Okay. Hey, look, it's Beardy McWeirdy. Second up, behind Rep, because Rep busted first. Richard Anthony is raising with 6'5". Richard Anthony, don't you know who the man in the orange flyer shirt is? That's Joe McKeon, son. Richard Anthony appears to give zero you-know-whats. I like the C-bet. It's not going to work against Ace-King, but sometimes when you get called, you make your hand on the turn, and 6-5 is pretty disguised. 
All right, so here we go to the turn. Well, now Anthony's got some help with that turn card. Yeah, he's up and down now. And like I said before, sometimes the second barrel will get it done. Of course, still not against Ace King. What are the hands that hypothetically McKeon would be scared of here? Uh, he's maybe afraid of some sets and some weird two pairs, but it's all pretty unlikely. Anthony misses his draws, and McKeon makes two pair in the river. All in. And no. Anthony just don't, don't totally <laughs> ships it in here on the river. 5,800, I'm all in. Okay, I didn't okay. even have a chance to say after I get stationed twice, uh, I'm probably going to give up on the river. It's like, it's like 6,000. 6, and Dick 000. Anthony just shipped it all in. And I don't know anything yeah, about this guy and how likely he is to be bluffing here. <laughs> Just a very easy call for Joe McKeon. Top two pair. Took you so long. Like Jeez. I said, very unlikely that, that he's beat there. So Good right. call, Joe. Yeah. I can only wonder if Joe would have called if he didn't make two pair in the river. Just said, what are you waiting on? I think he still might have. You gotta wonder if he'd call if he wasn't gonna win $9 million in a few months. Above it, that is the main question. I'm sure it's like, I don't care, call. Like, whatever. What were you considering on the river when he bet? Just, I'm just curious. I just wanted to make I didn't know how much. All he, was, he, he was counting exactly how much he was going to win. He had to count the stack before calling. So he could say 58 25. What, I'm just wondering, what options were you considering? Was that what you're in a, Was that an attempt at a slow roll? I'm just I'm curious. putting on a show. <laughs> yeah, you can't, so you can't everyone that's roll. watching will try to bluff me in the future, okay? For more from Poker Night, visit PokerNight.com or find us on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, where you can see complete episodes and unedited live streams. Welcome back to Poker Night. That's Joe Stapleton. I'm Chris Hansen. Let's return to the action. Steeps, how long would it take you to grow a beard like Cristiano has? Three, four days. Depends how hard I was concentrating. Do me a favor, stack the deck towards me. I don't think if I lived to be 100, I would get to have I'm a beard I'm the only like one that. you really know. He's known me for longer than you. Matt Glantz, you? up to 150 with threes. You been playing here, or y'all really just know each other? I'm playing here. <laughs> How do y'all know each other? It's from here. Yeah. Oh, from here. You started here at 18 too. Hanson calls, Anthony calls. I always juice it up for you, and Maddie. So five players will see the flop together. Yes. And Check. Bart Hansen flops bottom two pair, checks it. I got two horses left in the tournament. That's and the only way I can Richard win. Richard Anthony is going to think he has the best hand. Little does he know. You know I'm a master at horses. You know all these people talking about horses? No. If they want to win money, they should try entering people into the tournaments instead of horses. Yeah, they don't even have thumbs. No, How they are they supposed they, to look at the cards? They can't peel the cards, exactly. I like Bart's raise there a lot. Anthony's mostly going to have an ace here, and he's not likely to fold if he does. Didn't he use the buy? I gave other people first. Like I said, top pair, not folding. Turns a five. That is a really safe card for 8-10. So Bart should be able to follow up that flop raise with a bet here very easily. Anthony's hand... Fairly face up as an ace at this point. How much you got? 5,000 behind ish. A little under, yeah. 47. 2,100, the bet from Hansen. And from what I've seen of Anthony so far, he seems to be reluctant to fold. Either that or he just hates money. This is a pretty good run out for Bart. He should be able to go for three full streets of value. 41. Raise flop, bet turn, bet river. 41. And he went a little bit less this time relative to the size of the pot. Cool. Gets Ooh. called really well played by Bart Hansen the whole way. I don't think there was maybe a dime more that he would have gotten out of that. He just played it perfectly. And my guess is that Richard Anthony is the most popular player at the table right now. Did you win this is usually where somebody will offer to buy him yeah, dinner if he wants to stay. <laughs> Do you need a hotel room? Yeah, he wasn't ahead anyway. Bart Hansen, like, this time with pocket queens. Um, yeah. Man, my man coming after the team ice cream, man. I gotta, put a, I gotta put a stop to this. I raised your shadow last time. You folding? You wanna no. tell everyone else on the table? Do you just wanna like throw your cards in the middle already? I'm gonna re I'm gonna re okay. The action's on Alec Torelli. He's been pretty quiet so far here on day two at Turning Stone. 1200. And apparently he was bored because he's raising with three, four of hearts. Torelli is squeezing here like a month-old tube of toothpaste, and it's a good hand to do it with. If you get foals before the flop, very happy about that. If not, there's some pretty cool disguised hands you can make with suited connectors. 
And he's in position. Did you start with like nine or something? I think I started with a little time. More than that. This is 10. So I got 11 behind. So I started with 12. Alex really definitely knows what he's doing. Everything we've seen from Alec on Poker Night in America has been just rock solid poker, winning it every session. And Bart's no slouch either. He's a really good cash game player. He's been teaching it for years. Pay attention to what he does if you want your cash game to improve. Oh. And he just calls with queens. And I think it's because he knows Alec's pretty likely to be squeezing there. He doesn't want to chase him out of the pot. And Torelli does manage to flop a pair. But my guess is he's going to rep this ace regardless. Ace just always comes to the... Bart's probably not folding for just one bet. The problem is he knows whether he's up against an ace or not. He's going to be facing more barrels. I also noticed that Sean Deeb immediately to Bart Hansen's right is paying very close attention to how he is playing. Two very good players. You would behoove yourself to pay attention. And what a turn for Alec Torelli. Torelli went from bluffing to being able to value bet in the turn of one card. That is a nice gear to shift into. From hoping to knowing. Yeah. And that's a bad card for Bart because it's a diamond. Puts more wheel possibilities out there. But it looks like a bad card for him, which is good. And Bart's got no diamond, no straight draw. This is a big bet from Torelli. He's probably convinced himself at this point that Bart's got an ace and will call this big bet. And even if Bart calls here, I think there's very few rivers he'll call on. Well, Hansen's not done with this hand yet. He calls the 3,200 over 11K in the pot as we go to the river. That board doesn't get much worse for either hand. All in. Hansen checks and Torelli is all in. Hey, TK, are we getting pizza? Pizza, dude. Yeah, I just want like sausage on there or something. Order Hawaiian and watch all these East Coasters' heads explode. Bart gets away from it. Well done. You got away with them there. I think Alec could have played the exact same way if he was bluffing. Nobody ever believes me. I, I believe you. I would fold there every I single time, you. but I would be wrong a lot. Matt confirm, can confirm I believe you. Two believers. Three believers. He folded. How much is it? <laughs> I'm not kidding. like 20 grand. Seriously, how much is it? Oh, this is going to be great <laughs> TV. Please record this. <laughs> Poker Night in America at Turning Stone Resort. He's Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Hansen, and these are poker players. <laughs> yes, they are, some of them at least. I'm not gonna say which ones aren't. Straddles on, Mac Lance. My bad. Putting in 100 bucks blind. He'll be last to act pre-flop. the club with it. And with Sean Deeb raising, this is very likely to be a glance Deeb battle. I love this online qualifier. It's like he was eating a jar full of honey and fell face down in a barber shop. Well, Dominic actually does grow his hair out and then cuts it off for locks of love. He can't donate the beard hair, though. Thank God for that. I would actually be like a recipient for that. I would take that donated beard hair. I can't grow one. Do you think he could donate the food from it? What do you start the time with? I think five. Maybe a little more. 55. Hold on. All right. As you suggested, a glance deep all in battle is brewing. I'm really rooting for Matt this hand. I'm, Matt, I'm <laughs> fucking <forgot. laughs> I can, I can, I can uh, beat that. Oh, there's a queen dead. It's your, I'm against two queens. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> queen of heart, brutal. queen of heart. Jack. So glance, out flops deep. How do you have two queens with a dead queen? I didn't even know there was a dead queen. I didn't see that. Really? Yeah, Travell exposed under the queen. gun. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see I'm it. I'm not a fan of all these Freddie Mercury jokes. The man was an icon. <laughs> I, know he's, I know he's got queens. Well, Jack is not good enough on the end. You have queens, you win. I don't have queens. Then you, you have a flush. You, you moved on. I don't, I don't have queens, I swear. Do you have a flush then? No, I do not have a flush. <laughs> Tommy, do I have a flush? <laughs> I don't have a flush. I just have a Jack. Okay. <laughs> you, 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 you're probably going to win. <laughs> I got it in good for once. <laughs> he came back. 
Meister. Tommy Rally. got the sweet. <laughs> you got it into the dead queen. That is so <laughs> big. <laughs> hey guys, can we just go back for a second because the online qualifier totally got denied a fist bump twice. Check this out. High fives all around. Oh, oh, denied. Oh, twice. Oh, oh man, what you want, Grizzly Adams? You know, Glance totally did it on purpose. He was like, mm -mm, not you. He's that kind of guy. <laughs> Look, his social experiment. I bet if he didn't have that beard, he would have got the fist bump. 400. Lance got this started with ace queen. You made it 400. Joe McKeon called, Richard Anthony called. The three players are going to the flop. And McKeon pulls ahead, making a pair of kings. Glance is gonna continue. Perfect spot to just call. McKeon probably loving this spot with top pair. Can you add? Onion rings, fried goat cheese, and meatloaf. On pizza? Oh, what a time to be alive. What kind of an order was that? By the way, Matt Glance just very quietly turned the nuts. So when I said McKean's probably loving this spot, now not so much. Still don't think he can fold top pair. Oh man, what a great card for McKean on the river. That's gonna save him some money. I think if Glance even reduces his bet sizing, McKean can't really call anymore. Show bluff. A size good. <laughs> I guess the other cards are clean, huh? Let me suck out on the turn, buddy. <laughs> How bad is that river? Not good for you. Obviously. Such a river. It is amazing how these players can pick up on every single hand that the others are playing. It's amazing. You got me to fold a hand. Congratulations. Just when you think that you've got the game figured out, watch this and then think, yeah, there's another level to get to. I mean, I've got the game figured out, but that's with whole cards. Stupid not sell like two, three percent, you know? Actually, even then, probably not so good. And that's I just assuming like everyone's So it looks like we might see Cristiano finally play a hand. He's got ace king on the gun. Especially because like first place has so much extra value that yeah, exactly. you get. Into, first place, so you're going to get. So first you're first getting, getting first. Uh, 225 is the raise. I would like mm -hmm. give someone second place money to take first almost. Of what, are you, what are you losing? Like two million? You make way more than that in sponsorship yeah. down the road. Yeah. And like notoriety. So well. I mean, yeah. You want to be able to play for first even more than yeah, but Joe doesn't want yeah. to win it because I'd rather have less, have to, I'd rather uh, not to care about the money. Best place to get sponsorship. <laughs> That's for sure like the way to play. Yeah, especially if everyone knows that too. Like Javale Thomas calls <laughs> seven hand. They know you're literally playing for first. You're like I already sold 100 percent yeah. myself at ICM. Well, hello there. I did something Deep? like that. I would never tell people. Jeez, everybody's yeah, got a hand. If Sean Deeb calls. I will eat this pen. Rep told me about the bubble today. Knew there's like, no way that was going to be happening. Direct left. 1200 is the raise. I can never say a flop. Finally out of hand. Can I take half? Looks like Bart Hansen's maybe eating a pen or two in his day. He could be he suspecting saw? that Sean maybe could be a little light here. I don't think he saw it. Uh oh. 29. I don't want half. Bart! Four betting. King Queen turning his hand into a bluff, hoping to take this down pre flop. It looks strong as hell. I'll say that much. I was extra 10, yes. I started with 9,000. I would have three bet, but it was him that open. Back to Cristiano. I mean, now you've got Ace King. You were the first raiser. With all this action behind you, I mean, that's awfully tough. That was impressive. I mean, it's really hard to think Ace King is in good shape here after there's been a fourth bet. But these guys are maniacs. Think if I qualified and I was playing with somebody else's money, I might just ship it in here, close my eyes, and pray. The Jack Five call. That was insane. Wow, he's gonna let it go. Both of you guys would want to buy my hands. <laughs> So yeah, Bart got one it. better hand to fold, but Cristiano, we know, is playing pretty tight. Sean Deeb, not as tight. He is loose. He is loose like the pants in a weight loss ad after photo. Huh? You would have definitely bought my hand. You knew his hand? Both, oh, I probably both probably. Oh. <laughs> there you go. 
Bart gets Ace King to fold and Ace Jack jams on him. Blech. See ya. Two Jacks. Smell you no, later. Not a pair, but Ace King. Oh my God. How does Sean do it? How does he do it? Sean knows how to play poker, guys. We haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> this is why I'm down because he's to my left. Closed captioning is brought to you as a public service by Poker Night in America. This is why I'm down, because he's to my left. Yeah, that's why you're down. It's not we you will hit pause for day two here from Turning Stone. Seat one, Richard Anthony was doling out the money so far. Nice one, Dick Townie. Let's focus for a second on the qualifier. Dominic Cristiano came in with 5000 is now up over $5,000. Well done, him. Next time, Rep Porter and Mike Dentali join the table, and one of them is mildly rude to the wait staff. I always say thank you. Tune in to see whose drink gets spit in. And the gang plays a little blind man's bluff. For more Poker Night in America, go to pokernight.com to see unedited live streams and complete episodes. For Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Hansen. We'll see you next time here on Poker Night in America. How do you have two queens with a dead queen? I didn't even know there was a dead queen. I wasn't paying attention. You have queens, you win. I don't have queens, I swear. You have a flush then. No, I do not have a flush. <laughs> Tommy, do I have a flush? I don't have a flush. I just have a jack. Okay. <laughs> You're probably gonna win. <laughs> I got it in good for once. I only got these queens. <laughs> you got it in with a dead queen. That is so bad. <laughs> You were too happy with your hand that I knew I did not win. Like, <laughs> Clance is a pillow. I didn't see the Swiss card, actually. I'm glad I didn't. Wow. So awful at poker.